he became a prophet purely because of his strength of speech. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Ahmed Adweb and this is your Ramadan Reflection. Inshallah, today we'll be talking about Harun alayhi salam. And we cannot mention Harun alayhi salam without mentioning his younger brother Musa alayhi salam. And the reason being is because Musa alayhi salam specifically requested the assistance of his brother. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded Musa alayhi salam in the Quran in Surah Taha, where he says to him, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. اذهب إلى فرعون إنه طغى. Go to Fir'aun, for indeed he is a transgressor. And Musa alayhi salam feels this huge pressure. Now he has to go and speak to the Pharaoh. And Musa alayhi salam understands that this is a very difficult task that he might not be able to handle. So he does what he what all of us are encouraged to do is make du'a to Allah subhanahu wa taala. So in this special du'a that we're encouraged to make whenever we feel that we're uh, going to uh, deal with a huge test um, or uh, especially a test where we have to speak up uh, Musa alayhi salam said to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Qala Rabbi ashrah li sadri wa yassar li amri wa ahlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli he makes this dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to open up his chest and allow him to speak. But he also continues on because he knows that he might need more assistance. And he's very specific when he continues on. And this is where it becomes beautiful because Allah always encourages us to be specific in our dua. He goes on and he continues and he says, Waj'ali wazirun min ahli. And then he becomes more specific. And he says, Haruna akhi. So he says, Please uh, uh, provide me a um, minister from my family. And then he says, my brother Harun. And the reason why he chose his brother, because he knew his brother was a great orator. He knew how to speak. And this is very important to understand because as humans, sometimes we don't understand our limits. We don't understand our strengths and our weaknesses. So Musa alayhi salam understood his weakness. And what did he do? He asked Allah for assistance. And uh, and uh, Harun alayhi salam understood his strength. So he, came a, uh, he, he became a prophet purely because of his strength of speech. And this continued on throughout their prophethood where Harun alayhi salam was always assisting his brother Musa, especially when it came in times of speech. And this is important for us to understand because we have to understand that sometimes we have to speak up. And Harun is a perfect example of somebody who spoke up at times of need. And sometimes uh, there's individuals who might be stronger or more well equipped, but they might lack in something that we might have a strength in. So to encourage yourselves to always find your strengths and to use them to the best of your ability. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.